Okay, welcome back. This is just another AR experiment. Pretty much the same, but this time I have used an aquarium. So if you see, I put that down. There's actually an aquarium sitting on the book. And the, and the aquarium has uh, fish in it, even. So you can see it's sort of bouncing around a little bit. Um, that's probably just the way I'm holding the book. That's cool as hell. Look at that. Fish moving around inside. On top of the book. I bring it closer to the camera. I don't know how long it can go before it loses uh, the fact that it's on the book, but it's doing bloody well. I'll spin it now with my hands in real life. It's gone down now. Gone. The trick is to keep your hands out of the way of the uh, book, obviously, because then it will lose the recognition. That is really quite crazy. And you know, you can get clearer images than this book that were better. Maybe uh, I've seen people using playing cards and stuff. They're probably a better idea. But I didn't have any around. Tried with a pizza box. Didn't seem to recognize. And I tried with a 1000 NT note. Some currency I've got. And then it didn't seem to work, but then I tried this book and it, and it worked really well. So look at that. Whoa. Yeah, so I'm going to pause this video and just keep messing around with a few more. And, and then keep the recording going just so I don't have to upload loads of different ones. But that was the aquarium test. Here, here we have a small giraffe. Wait, let me animate the small giraffe. Um, I think I have to start it again. Come on, mate, why aren't you animating? Alright, I'll be back in a second. Oh, he's on the wrong pose. Right, let's just put him on eating. Uh, There we go, a small giraffe eating. Doesn't look like he looped though, because Unity doesn't even have that feature. I have a script for it. He will loop. And there he is. I'm expecting hundreds of people to pile into my house in a minute, thinking he's a rare Pokemon to take over, be like being swatted on camera. So there, there he is, a giraffe. See how far I can get him. Um, Alright mate, that's amazing isn't it? Look at that. How does it know I'm still in the same image? A bit jerky, a bit jumpy, but you know that's probably my hands and also the uh, recognition of the book. And also, I don't know why the camera quality looks so poor. This is a great webcam, to be honest. The light's not excellent in here. Anyway, a small giraffe. Here we have a campfire. Hope it doesn't burn the book. It's very cool, isn't it? Well, I was attempting to have a diver on a boat on top of the water, but it keeps falling out. But you can see there scuba diver and a boat <laughs> uh, let's see if I can put one in and actually swim about ok 
Okay, so this is an interesting one. I, I hooked up the water surface from the scuba dive demo to the plane. So as you can see, when I put it in there and it recognizes it, it shows uh, water over the lens, which is very cool. And as I turn the boot, the water turns, obviously. And I can pick it up and tilt the water. Uh, it's, a, it's a very cool... Uh, Whoa, very cool way to do it. If I cover up the book, for example, well, it's still recognizing it. Then it goes back to normal, but if I take away, it goes like that. So it must, even when parts of the uh, image are covered up, it sort of still remember, it can still work out that it's still there because of other points of interest, like corners and stuff, I presume. Yeah, that is a a nice way to do it. Is it actually curving somehow? It feels like it's curving but it can't be. Just tilting it. But if I curve the book... No, I can't do is it. Yeah, that is a really nice uh, use of AR. Okay, I'm going to try a couple more things. Okay, just a simple cube test here. I'm going to change some of the uh, materials on the cube in real time just to see what happens. So whatever I find, I'm just going to go through. You see that one's translucent. As you turn, you can still see the uh, video feed underneath. Pretty cool. some uh, potential for real-time effects over the video itself. Yeah, that was just a few crappy little textures, really. Um, let's see what happens if we, you know, just play with the cube a little bit. Uh, if I just move it up, what happens? Yeah, it just goes up, basically. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll try something else. Okay, so this is a test with some uh, terrain, well, like a hotel model. Now the terrain, uh, the ground there you see doesn't seem to be working properly, but the model itself should appear when it recognizes... Uh, oh, I was working a second ago. Oh, there you go. So it's actually appeared on top of the book. So when I turn book you can actually look around you can see it's shaking a lot I don't know why that's happening but you can look around and see more of the uh, model cars over there yeah that shaking is uh, quite extreme but um, whoop, see it's lost lost it now it's got it back I can lift it up Closer to the camera so you can get a better view. Look, he zooms in on the car. Look, the ground looks amazing still. I'm right next to the camera here. So close, I don't even know how it works. Um, yeah, apologies for the shaking there, but I'll get rid of that now. But that's a good little uh, example as well. Okay, and last but not least, some um, clownfish. A flock of clownfish should be associated with this book, so to speak. So if I move it around like that, I'm actually controlling the rotation of them. Again, these things are bouncing a bit. Uh, my first experiments, I'm not sure why they're doing that so much, even when the book is down, back there, they're still doing it. Now I suspect that's something to do with the camera um, over tracking, but it still gives you some fairly good ideas of what uh, what's possible. Of course, my uh, it's so dark in here that the image is distorted a lot, so that could be affecting the tracking. But uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, 
Hopefully some more AR stuff coming. Oh, they look steady there for a second. And uh, lots more VR and maybe some MR if someone wants to send me free HoloLens.